Good morning, Oak Grove Wildcats. It's the week of May 10 and May 15th. Your admin team, we're all here to share the morning announcements with you all. My name is Mrs. Montgomery, your principal. And I'm Mr. Ramirez, one of the vice principals. Ms. Hernandez, one of your vice principals too. And Dr. Macalino, your instructional specialist. Okay, Wildcats, let's go ahead and show we are united and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. You may take a knee, you may stand. Let's place our right hand over our heart and let's begin. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Montgomery. And Wildcats, we continue to observe the Ivy trait of being communicators. So that is so important now more than ever because we haven't had that face-to-face -face expression and our only means of communications with some people has been through phone or via Zoom like us with you through these morning announcements. So as we are going into summer and we won't have Zoom as available, make sure you find ways to stay communicating with those that are important to you and those resources that help you get through to through during times, right? Where you don't have as much communication with others. And pretty soon we'll all be on campus uh, being able to have that face-to-face -face expression again. And also coming up for the end of the school year for DLI for sixth and seventh grade. Um, so you just learned about Cinco de Mayo last Wednesday and coming up th today, this Wednesday, you are going to be learning about Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. So learn about some influ influential sorry, um, Asian American and Pacific Islanders in the United States and their contribution to our country. Next week, on May 19, you get to start reflecting on the whole school year, right? This has been a year that we've made history doing this virtual learning. It's never been done before, but you did it, Wildcats. You rose up, you were resilient, and it's almost over. And on May 26, you will learn about Memorial Day, which we celebrate on the 31st of May. You get that day off, but you will be learning about why you get that day off on May 26. And here we have a video to teach you more about Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month and also how it connects to our four R's. It's Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month and Cartoon Network is recognizing amazing kids who learn from their elders to pave their future. We are honoring the special bond between kids and their grandparents as they are drawn to ancestry. Hi. Chambri Psu. Assalamu alaikum. Ni hao. Anyahasio. Hi. I'm proud to be a first generation Filipino American. I'm proud to be Indian, Kashmiri, and have pilgrim roots. I'm Cambodian and Vietnamese. And I'm proud to be Asian American. One thing that unifies all of us in the Asian American community is that we all respect our elders, have our own respective holidays, and all care for each other. My grandparents taught me a lot about cool clothing, and my grandma taught me a ton of songs. My nani taught me that you have to do everything to the fullest because that's what she did and that made everyone feel really good. They love me and my cousins in a way I don't think anyone else loves like. Her laugh was just the best. <laughs> I was born in the province of Chongqing, China. My Chinese name is Su Shuang and it means strong and beautiful. My grandparents and my parents, when they went to adopt me, got 18 gifts. And each year, they'll give me a gift from China. It is hard sometimes to try to fit in or feel like you belong. So in high school, I'm in diversity club. And it's really cool because in a predominantly white school, it's nice to feel like I'm not alone. The culture and the traditions are so delicate and there might be a lot that especially elders in the Asian community have to offer. My grandparents and parents taught me to enjoy the moment and to keep my Asian part of myself alive, but also to feel like you can be different and you can try new things and just to live a really happy life being Asian American. Respecting elders is very important because they have lived longer than you and they might have more intelligence 
they teach me so much. Like, I still try to cook some traditional dishes with my grandmother. What amazes me is a lot of people get all this food from restaurants. And we made that when we came from, like, nothing. My mom told me that my great-grandfather used to make his own chess pieces with his hands. And that really inspires me because I like pottery. I like to write. I like to draw. One thing I would definitely want my grandparents to know is like how much I thank them. Love you, Ta. And I love that. I really have a lot of my culture in me that I didn't know I had. (laughs) (laughs) Respecting your elders is important in the Filipino culture because they are the leaders of the family. They have all equally gone through the hardships, but they have never given up. They've always worked hard and they've always had dedication. Something interesting my grandparents have taught me about my culture is that dance and music have brought people together. And after seeing them dancing, I wanted to dance. I thank them and appreciate them for their constant love and support. And I wouldn't be the person I am today without them. I love you, honey. Love you! Love you too! I stand for love. I stand for unity. I stand for respect. I stand for peace. Keep searching for what you're drawn to. Happy Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. It's Asian American and Thank you, Ms. Hernandez, for sharing that touching video. Well, eighth grade Wildcats, Wednesday, May 19, is a big day. Okay, why? Because your eighth grade project is due. Once again, Wednesday, May 19, 9 a.m. And as you can see, We have two choices here. We have uh, the service learning project that we started two weeks ago. And then last week, your teacher, your DLI eighth grade teacher talked about the eighth grade reflection project. So that was the alternative assignment just in case you were not able to complete the service learning project. We will talk more about that um, at our mandatory um, assembly that's going to happen at 9.45 today. So definitely stay tuned. So, I mean, once again, you know, I just want to send a shout out to our eighth grade students who decided to go through with um, the the original service learning project. And so, um, Ms. Hernandez, did you want to just quickly um, say a little bit about this once again? Yes, don't forget to bring in some donations to campus um, for towels, blankets, any kind of pet supplies that you have, new or used, uh, for to support our eighth grade project to support. I think there's also your duty too. Yes, thank you. We also have a food drive. I have some things in my box that, that have been coming in, but you know the Concord community could use more. So bring in your cans and non-perishable to support eighth grade food drive. And finally, do you need anything teachers or students translated from English to Spanish or Spanish to English? Don't forget that we have Kevin, eighth grader, supporting with that. So his email is right on the screen or let me know if you need his email after this video. Um, And he can always help out with any translating needs. All right. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you, sorry about that. And finally, we have Mr. Jacob Banta, who is also doing an animal toy drive. Um, Toys, leashes, and collars. Make sure they are new, and we have a beautiful bucket in the front office where you can leave those donations. So once again, I I just wanna say it again, because sometimes you just need to hear it like 50 times in order for to really sit. The project, y'all, it's due next Wednesday, May 19, 9 a.m. We will talk more about this in depth during your DLI class with your DLI teacher and for sure today during our mandatory eighth grade assembly that starts at 9.45 a.m. All right, thank you, uh, Ms. Hernandez and Dr. Macalino for that information. Hey, eighth graders, we do have an assembly. It starts at 9.45. It's gonna be very short, but it is about promotion. 
It's about the requirements uh, for promotion when it comes to our academic performance, our behavioral expectations, and our attendance expectations. There's not a lot of time left in school, so we'll tell you more when we get to this uh, assembly in a few. Also, same time, or same day, we're gonna have a parent meeting at night and we'll explain the exact same thing to your parents about what the uh, academic um, expectation and performance is, uh, about the behavior expectations, as well as the attendance expectations when it comes to promotion, which is gonna be on the very last day of school. Now, if you didn't know, we do have a yearbook. It has been a challenging year and we do have a yearbook that's uh, uh, what else can i say it's amazing and we're going to give you a little sneak peek so if you haven't purchased your yearbook yet you still have time you still have time and as you can see there's a price between a soft cover and a hard cover but here's a little preview a sneak preview for what it looks like and again showing how resilient you have been all year long through distance learning and the time you've been able to do uh being here as a hybrid learner for those of you who have come as well um, so check it out. Hopefully you're going to purchase one. It's pretty, it's a, it's a pretty good deal. Now also, as we wind up the school year, we still have tutoring support available from our Concord High and our uh, Oak Grove Wildcat leaders. So that is on Wednesdays from 12 to 1. There's only today and one more chance for that. So let's finish strong as you can get this help to uh, with all your classes to hopefully um, get those passing grades. And even, you know, as we're finishing up with our uh, testing, this, this could help you too. So information is there. And remember, hybrid students, those of you who are coming on campus, our uh, Monday, Tuesday group and our Thursday, Friday group. Again, we ask you, get those lanyards, make sure you have those in your backpack, bring, uh, your own water, no sharing food, but bring your own water and make sure you do the health survey before you come. And when you're here on campus, how do you greet people? Elbow bump, my favorite, tip of the head or tip of the cap, those types of things. Uh, we wanna continue to be safe and practice um, our social distancing um, when we're here on campus. So those are just a few of the announcements right now. And I know we're gonna head into a little bit of mindfulness. That was quite a bit of announcements. We are winding up towards the end of the school year and communication is so important as we have many events to celebrate you all and to have us uh, return materials. So, and also in honor of communication for this month, we are going to say an affirmation about communication. And remember, let's continue to communicate positively to ourselves with the thoughts we say. So communication, the title is Communication Affirmations by Affirm Your Life. Every day I practice listening to others. Every day I practice understanding another person's point of view. Every day I try my best to actively listen to what others say without interrupting them. Every day, I try my best to be mindful to allow others to freely express their viewpoints. Oh, that was a great reminder to communicate, but also communicating also means listening to others. So thank you, Wildcats. You, um, let's remember that we are respectful, res um, responsible, resilient, and risk takers. You all have been so resilient with the test taking. We've never done that before, testing online. So thank you so much, teachers and students, for being resilient and have a fabulous week. Bye, Wildcats. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great rest of your week. Right. Bye, Wildcats. Good luck with math testing this week. You've got this.